This video is to show what in fact a scan gauge is and or does. It's being used to show the people what gauge I use to do the tests for the spark plug testing that I was uh, will be covering in the next video. And many people may not in, be in fact know what a scan gauge is so I'm going to go through some of its functions and I'm showing you the inside of the cab of the truck which is the truck that we use to do our tests. It's a 2001 GMC Sierra. It has a 5.3 liter engine in it and I'm showing you the instrument cluster and uh, the scan gauge sitting in front of it because I want to go through some of the functions as the vehicle warms up so you can see that the gauge does do what I claim it does and the one thing I want you to focus on right now which is probably the most important thing is here where it says miles per gallon and then it says current and reset what is displaying here there is no miles per gallon because I haven't moved so if I drive then it'll read something different but I'm going to go to what I did on the previous day just so you guys can see what it actually does today is nothing previous day I got 18.3 miles per gallon and that counts the whole day okay if you stop you drive you go if you drive through town slow down it registers all that and so I'm getting 18.3 miles per gallon average and then I'm getting 3.9 miles per gallon per, for the for so far on this tank because this gas is full and then if I go to another menu here which you I have to excuse my thumb, but you have a meter, a gauge here that says scan, trip, gauge, and more. Well, what we want to do is go to gauges, so we press the upper key here, and we have the current RPM. Now, I want to show you that this actually does work. See, it's right now it's a 673. This truck normally idles about 550. Now, I'm going to show you what happens if you can look at that plus the current tack. If I rev this up. See? It's registering the newer RPM. And it says Fahrenheit water temperature, and you can see that it's increasing as the motor warms up. You'll see it go from 96 to something higher, 98. One hundred. So you can see that it actually does work. And we can get the, the gauge to read something different. We can ask it various things. One of the ones it's displaying now is RPM. If I change it, it's throttle position sensor, which is where is your gas pedal? Right now it's at seven, I'll step on the gas pedal. See, now I went up to nine, 12. Now it's gonna register Fahrenheit water temperature and you can see it warmed up some. The voltage, it'll read volts, 14.4, 14.5. If I step on it, it should go up some. Okay, the voltage regulator actually doesn't let it go up any. That's outside air temperature. And it says it's 48. And just to show that it's accurate, fairly accurate, the outside air temperature according to my uh, truck is 44. It could be out a couple of degrees. Some things it didn't register because there's no sensor for it in this vehicle. There's gallons per hour, 57.57, 58. So if I, if, see it's reading more because it's right now we're spending time. So it's going to keep counting up because it's how many gallons per hour, so it's based on a time factor. Then there's your ignition timing, which is, uh, in this vehicle, it's because it's fuel injected, it changes. If I step on it, it'll change again. See? That's load, load uh, for, for how much load's on the transmission. Open loop is good because it's uh, 
that that deals with your oxygen sensor map sensor is another pollution control device Now that was through the uh, the one function for the for the gauges. We can also go through scan and this button right here, if I pressed it, it would read the codes off the computer and it should say no nothing found. See? No error codes found, so it would reset them if it does hap did happen to trip for some reason. And then if we go to the current trip meter. So we're back to where we were, miles per gallon and reset. We'll go to the previous day. And it still reads 18.3 because that was yesterday. So how I do the, the test when I do it on the other, uh, for the spark plugs, is I actually put it on the trip meter, which is here, right there. And then I, what I do is I go to a specific spot, a specific road, which is fairly level, and I reset it at a certain point. I drive a set distance, and then I say, okay, what does it read as miles per gallon? And then when I do the modification, whatever modification I happen to do, I redo the same test. And I make sure the vehicle is up to operating temperature, and then uh, do the same run. And I use a GPS for a speedometer because the GPS is digital and then I use cruise control which uh, you can't see now because I'm not going fast enough but that's how it works and that way there when I'm doing my test it's always done on the same road basically the same road conditions and I try to do it with the same temperature and I even do it on the same day if possible so that's how we know that we're doing the best we can as far as um, getting an accurate result because if you're using a speedometer is the needle in the same spot now as it was before? Is it was it slightly or further ahead, slightly back? We don't know. But if we use the GPS, which is digital, it tells us our speed, and then we use the miles per gallon test based on a trip because our trip starts when we hit reset, which is right there. You can see the reset, and we drive the same distance. And I can tell you that even right now. When we were loaded and we were getting 18.3 miles per gallon, we have a thousand pounds of stuff sitting in the, in the back uh, box of this truck. So it'll be interesting to see. When you do that spark plug modification uh, by putting the new spark plugs in, it'll take about a half a tank of gas or, or maybe even a full tank of gas, depending on your vehicle, in order for you to get the actual result of how much you're going to gain and we've done the test now so we have that as information we are going to provide that and uh, the scan gauge is really easy to hook up I'm just going to turn the scan gauge around you'll see here there's a plug on the back of this on the end of it or you can optionally use the one on the back and you just run the cable to your OBI port which in my case is right there. You just plug it in and when you start the vehicle it takes a second or two and then it registers. And if we look at our current um, unit again just one last time and we go to the uh, gauges function Fahrenheit water temperature is 154 155 so you can see this thing is fairly accurate a lot better than the gauges in the actual vehicle see whereas the ones in the actual vehicle what's that actually reading and the other thing is some of them it's in Fahrenheit and other stuff's in, in uh, metric I use miles per gallon personally I think metrics a pain in the butt but. well that's what a scan gauge is folks for those that want to know 
and now that you see how the scan gauge functions when you see it in the spark plug test you won't be wondering what this thing is thank you